My name is Michiel Heinz and I will explain to you how to do a rain flood counting um, on a signal, typical signal as shown on the screen at the moment. Now this signal was prepared uh, from, uh, 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 this was just an arbitrary signal that was prepared for explanation purposes. In practice, the signal that you would have here in front of you before you do the rain flood count would already be been peak value reduced or uh, mathematically correct extrema calculated. That means the turning points at the top and bottom um, within the number of bins that uh, or divisions that is prescribed by the applicable standards, which as you know, according to BS 7608 is 32 and according to uh, Investpec we typically use 40. Nevertheless, what you see here is the signal that's already peak value reduced. Um, so we're just sitting with the most important turning points and we want to perform a rainfall count on the signal. To demonstrate that, I will um, just use a graphical procedure to so show you the signals and explain to you as I go along. The first thing that we're going to, the first signals, the reverses that we are going to calculate are the ones on the top of the signal, right? So we start at this valley. Of course, then you need to start at the valley. The first valley, we start at this valley. And we carry on, we go over to this uh, peak here, fall over here, right? And now here you can see there's a valley. Um, now, because I started at the valley, I must ask the question, is this valley smaller or equal to the one where I started? In this case, it is yes. So then I must stop there. Uh, let's just make this default signal nice, red and clear so that we can clearly see it. And when we stop it, let's make it a nice little dot, right? So that you can clearly see uh, 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 where, it, where it stopped. Um, good, so that's the first uh, uh, reversal that we, that we have on, 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 on our result. Now let's, now let's make this the default line, All right? Um, now let's go to the next one. The next one that we have here is this valley here. So we started this valley at the bottom here and we carry on, we cross this peak and then we reach a valley here. And the question that we must ask now, is this valley smaller or equal to the one where I started? And the answer is yes, then I stop. Then we do the, the next valley. The next valley is this one here. So we start at this valley. We proceed. There's a peak there. We fall over the peak. Ah, we reach a valley here. The question that I ask is, is this valley smaller or equal to the one where I started? The answer is no. So I proceed. That peak don't affect. It's far below. Ah, there's another valley. The question is, is this valley smaller or equal to the one where I started? The answer is no. I carry on this another peak. I carry over. Then we reach another valley. Same question, is this valley smaller or equal to the one where I started? The answer is no. I continue and I hit this line here and I carry on over this point here and then of course I carry on with the signal. I'm just going to stretch it beyond the point there which just shows that the signal carries on. Right, now we start at the next valley. And the next value that we start now is this one here. And I draw my line up to there. Over the peak, ah, oh, I reach a valley. Is this valley smaller or equal to the one where I started? The answer is yes, and I stop. Let's start at the next valley. This is the next valley. Carry on. Carry over the peak. Ah, oh, this valley here. Is this valley smaller or equal to the one where I started? The answer is no. So I carry on, go to there, and then of course there I stop because there's already a signal coming, coming from the top. Then let's do the next one, which is the last valley, which is this one. We started this valley, and as you can see, we only go to there. Now we're going to do the peaks and uh, I will color the peaks green so that you can see the difference in the signals. The argument, the way of, of, of uh, 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 a 
articulating the values are still the same. So let's insert shape. We're going to start at this peak now. Start at this peak and we carry down. We get to this valley here, we fall over. Okay, there's a peak. Now the question is, is this peak larger or equal to the peak where I started? The answer is no, so I carry on. I carry over this valley here. Ah, oh, there's another peak. Is this peak larger or equal to the peak where I started? The answer is no. I carry on. There's another valley. Ah, oh, there's another peak. Is this peak larger or equal to the peak where I started? The answer is no. So I carry on. There's another valley. Now we get to the, the next peak. Is this peak larger or equal to the one where I started? The answer is no, so I carry on. And we get to this peak here. Is this peak larger or equal to the peak where I started? The answer is yes, and I, and I stop there. The moment that you have a yes on that answer, you need to stop. I will just format this line in a different color so that you can clearly see the difference between the lines. Let's make this line... Uh, a, 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 a green line, right? And let's make it the default shape so that we don't battle. Now we go to the next one. We start at the next peak, which is this peak here. We carry down with this peak. Okay, we stop there because there's already a peak there. We then we go to the next peak, which is this peak here. We come down. There's a valley go over. Right, there's a peak. Is this peak larger or equal to the peak where I started? The answer is no, so I carry on. I come down here over this valley. There's a peak again. Is this peak larger or equal to the peak where I started? The answer is no, and I carry on. Is, then I get to this peak. Is this peak larger or equal to the peak where I started? The answer is yes, and I stop there. Then let's go to the next peak. The next peak is this one here. We start at this peak, and this peak won't pass on. It will only go to there. We start at this peak here, come down over the valley. Oh, there's another peak. Is this peak larger or equal to the peak where I started? The answer is yes, and I stop. And let's do the last peak, which is this one here. I come down. Get to this turning point here, and we see the signal just, the, the droplet just carries on downwards. And that is the reversals. Each line represents one reversal as we would do it graphically on the signal. In the next presentation, I will show you how to convert this to values and to a stress spectrum.